Hello everyone, Amy here. I hope everyone is doing well. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so very much for being here. Today's collaboration is a very special one with some amazing Canadian artists. Camille Amoy Art, Sandra's Sensations, and Manon Petit Art. Thank you so very much, Camille, for setting up this collaboration. These amazing cups that we are all pouring with were created by Sandra's Sensations by her husband, Greg. They are a super cool, flat-nosed, five-chamber, very large split cup, and I was so excited to receive this in the mail. So thank you once again, Sandra, for sending it to me. I already have many, many, many more ideas that I want to try with this lovely, lovely split cup. So if you're watching this premiere, Camille and Sandra have already had their videos, so please be sure to go and check those out if you haven't been uh, watching already. And Manon is up right after I am. And if you haven't already checked out her video and are watching the replay, please make sure you go and have a look at her video as well. So the guidelines that we had for this collaboration were of course to use Sandra's amazing flat-nosed split cup, to use fall inspired colors on any size canvas, and also to use gold. So if you were following along as I showed off my colors there, you'll see that I have uh, a lovely gold mix. Um, I also have mixed up some pigments. Um, there's a pretty orange as well as a TLP, uh, the shimmer. I also added in some yellow and some purple. I love how purple really makes the fall colors pop. And as you'll see in this piece, my purple gets a little bit buried. And the shimmer, well, I should have put more of that in the bottom of my cup because I did lose a lot of it. However, I come back in afterwards and add in some extra shimmer as well as some extra purple you'll see. I was so excited to try out this cup that I should have spent a little bit more time planning the layering of my cup. However, it happens and it ended up, this piece turns out really, 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 really pretty and the video and the pictures just don't do it justice. The very ending results are absolutely fabulous. I have had this idea in my head about wanting to see what it would look like to mix the TLP uh, iridescent pigments with some varnish and add that to a dried piece as an embellishment. And that's what I do at the end of this video to add in some more of the shimmer. Um, and it turns out absolutely amazing. I also add in some extra purple before this piece dries. You'll see um, that I do some schmears with some Australian Floetrol and the uh, Amsterdam's Permanent Blue Violet. One of the things that I love about fluid art is that if a piece doesn't turn out quite how I planned, there's always a way to fix it. And after I stretched this out, I was happy with it, but I wasn't 100% happy with it. I wanted more purple. As you can see, the purple lines are very, very fine. And like I said, I lost a lot of the, uh, the TLP shimmer and wanted to add that back in. And I, this is 
been such a huge anxiety reliever for me. For those of you that don't know me, I am a frontline registered nurse. And back in 2020, when the pandemic hit, uh, I was working, well, I'm still working on a, a very busy medicine unit. And of course we had COVID showing up on our unit all the time. And I have battled anxiety for pretty much my entire life. I remember having it as a little girl and my anxiety went absolutely wild. And I found myself sitting on the couch, watching a lot of YouTube videos, just sort of random whatever popped up in my feed. Uh, and of course, fluid art popped up. Uh, I had never ever thought of myself as a creative person in an artistic way. And I thought, you know what, I have some paint. I'm gonna try this. And it was the one thing that, <clears throat> sorry, it was the one thing that got me off my couch and back to life again. And I have been doing it ever since. It has been a huge, huge saver when it comes to any kind of stressful situation that has occurred in the last few years. So as you can see, I'm adding in some schmears of the really, really pretty permanent blue violet. Uh, I mix up my Australian Floetrol and my Amsterdam paint. Uh, two to one, or do I do it three to one? Pretty sure I do it three to one, oh my goodness. It's very early in the morning here as I'm doing this voiceover. And uh, as you can hear in my voice, it's cracking a little bit, but is what it is. And uh, I love the abstractness, if that's a word, uh, of this piece. I love just being able to freely add in what I feel I need in a piece. And that's exactly what I did with this. There's no rhyme or reason to where I put my schmears, uh, just where I wanted a little bit more purple, uh, where I wanted a little bit more contrast, where I wanted a little bit more movement. And it actually turned out really awesome. And as you'll see, I continue to add in some more purple and I realized that there was quite a bit of black underneath. If you remember from the beginning of my video, I put down a pillow of black and so I started to just take my palette knife and run it through fairly heavily uh, right to the base of the canvas to see if I could pull out any more black to pull up some more contrast and it worked fabulously. And so I wanted to just continue to play with my palette knife. I love just moving it in different directions and trying different things to see what happened. And um, yeah, this actually turned out really, really amazing. So don't forget to check out the other three fabulous ladies, Camille Amoy Art, Sandra Sensation, and Manon Petit Art. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you hit the notification bell as well as the thumbs up. I would love to hear what you think of this piece, this crazy abstract uh, art, <laughs> autumn inspired piece. Uh, I love to hear what my viewers think uh, as I continue to play with my palette knife here. Don't forget to keep watching so you can see how I mixed up the shimmer from TLP with my varnish and add that in as an embellishment. It looks really, really cool. I am so excited to share that part of this video with you. Okay, so here we are with the wet results. Uh, I love how this piece turned out. The I love the chunky lines from the flat-nosed uh, split cup that Sandra and her husband created. But I also love how there are quite a few of the fine purple lines in there because my purple layer was not very thick. 
and of course the black that came through and the purple schmears that I added in on top of that copper and the orange are absolutely beautiful. So here's my dried piece with my shimmer mixed in with my varnish. I mixed up a lot so I will definitely be doing this again on top of a couple of my other pieces. I get excited and I add in too much sometimes but that's okay. So I'm just using a foam brush and adding in some chunkier lines here as well as some finer lines and wow does this ever just shine. The the color change in this. So shimmer is a, a green gold kick and it's perfect for the autumn colors. I love the finer lines that I add in here as well. Uh, I do not have it completely varnished at this point yet. Uh, I will be adding on a layer, a couple of layers of my gloss varnish and I will have the full, full finished results in either my next video or the video after that coming up in just a couple of weeks. Uh, I'm really excited to share that and to see exactly how this ends up turning out. But I do have the dried results of the varnish with the shimmer right here. It's amazing just how a little bit of pigment in some varnish can really add some pop to your piece. And again, the video just does not do it justice. I have this on my table right now and every time I walk past it, I stop. I literally stop and I either turn the lights out and take my flashlight from my phone and shine it over top or I just I just stare at it because it, it's an amazing amazing result so thank you so very much for watching make sure to check out the other three fabulous ladies in this collaboration I will have them all linked down below in the description be sure to subscribe to my channel leave me a comment hit the notification bell as well as the thumbs up all of my art is for sale on my website and also have a look at my Instagram page. Thanks everyone!